Hello there, Hearts Home family, E-Arts, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there, welcome back. So guys, we want to bring you some news. Now, Hearts Home, we keep high vibe, um, but obviously, if you've been following anything in the news, you could see uh, all the, let's just call it darkness that's out there. So how do we combat the darkness? Well, certainly not with more darkness. You you do have to call call it out for what it is and to wake people up. You know, to use the analogy I've used so many times, if if you have a deaf neighbor and he's walking on the train tracks and you could hear the train coming, but he can't, it's a good idea to let him know, hey, I could hear the train coming. It's rolling down those tracks. Yeah, you know, and it's about pointing these things out to people, but in a way, you know, that's that's not going to frighten people. I, I'm not exactly sure how this, this video is going to turn out, but we just have information that we want to put out there without scaring people and people understanding that there's a, a different force that we're dealing with that's, that's um, definitely not like the 3D uh version that we where we can see people misbehaving there's a little bit of a different force out there that's causing some chaos you know and without mm, articulating on it too much because i think even articulating it in, in a lot of ways gives it power we don't want to give it power so we definitely want to tell people if you're feeling this darkness that's been going on we're going to talk about some ways how to really just turn your back on that darkness and start ingesting some love, start ingesting some light, start bringing in some happiness to your life. I mean, we just because it's there doesn't mean we need to soak in it. And how to counteract it. This is the key. You know, again, we've talked so much about keeping yourself clean um, and clean in every way mind body breath i just want to show um uh, some things that we've talked about over the years and you may be very very aware of there's been so many studies done that show just how effective uh, mind body breath practices are yoga tai chi meditation provide physical and emotional relief for veterans yes absolutely you know at, at some point um, in all of our lives, we're going to face times when we're challenged physically, emotionally, and mentally. It's a given. Taking the time to shift gears, just thinking of it that simply. We get caught up in all the drama of this world. So many people have lost family members, lost friends, lost neighbors. You know, it seems like every week I'm telling Cindy, oh, I lost another classmate. Yeah, you know, when you get up in age, you're going to get that. Um, again, I'm still in my 50s, so I'm not ancient yet. It might seem ancient to 20-year-olds, but yeah, I'm not really ancient yet. And the life average life expectancy has been around 80 uh, years. But just far too many people are leaving this planet, and young people too. And so what we want to get across especially on on heart's home because you know you guys are very very open-minded and you understand the bigger picture you understand the spiritual side of things and the fact is even though we wade through the minefields of this third dimensional reality or what we perceive as a third dimensional reality we have to keep our frequencies high, but then at the same time, we have to be alert and aware of all the dangers that are out there. So what Cindy is trying to get across is that, you know, if you use the term spiritual warfare, what are you really talking about? It, you know, in reality, again, we are talking about multidimensional um, struggles. And I think, again, we need to utilize all the tools available to ourselves for ourselves and for the planet too because when you talk about some of the greatest minds like tesla said 
and and Max Planck and Einstein and, and so many others have talked about the fact that you can't you can't get behind consciousness, meaning there is nothing that comes before consciousness. Consciousness is fundamental. It's it's where everything starts, and ultimately it's where everything ends. So if we are creators of our reality, and in reality when we're here with others, let's think of it more in terms of co-creators, because everybody's creating their reality, and then again, we have a system that's trying to create a certain reality together. There, there, it's a unified system that's trying to manage our behavior, uh, the atmosphere around us, our reactions to things. Again, it's about rising above. It's about rising above and flying over the chaos instead of wading through the chaos. These things are tools we can utilize, and they're more powerful tools than you realize. If you want to think of it like, you know, think of it as, uh, you know, a dam, and it's got all these different cracks in this dam. The moment you stop bailing water, the water is going to flow in more and more and more. So, you know, we have to counteract all the cracks. We could start to uh, stick our fingers and toes in as many cracks as possible by waking up more people because we only have, you know, 10 fingers and 10 toes. We can get them to start putting their fingers and toes in those cracks to stop the flow of water, which, you know, again, water is analogy, a great analogy to emotions. And, you know, we could all together start to stem that what feels like insurmountable tide that's overwhelming us. When you have this control structure that literally uses technology to call in reinforcements, and that's what Cindy has seen from the guides, they've shown her that technologies like CERN and others are literally opening these portals, opening these doors to what can only be described as dark, abnormal versions of that which is natural in this world. And so there are many beings pouring through right now that are here to wage the battle that's going on on Earth and all throughout the cosmos on many different densities or dimensions, if you want to use that term, if it clarifies things a little bit more in your mind. Yeah, they've called in reinforcements is basically um, what we want to get across. So if it feels like we're fighting a, a battle and all of a sudden, you know, the odds are almost appearing to be insurmountable, that that is why. So obviously we don't want to go and throw more of the same energy at it. We have to battle from a higher standpoint. You know what I, I think is helpful, maybe looking at it in a, a 3D perspective, you know, we can see parasites. We know what parasites are. We know how they function. And they, we know that they need a host. And what do you need to do? You need to change the makeup of that host to either get them so they're not getting the food out of it or the food that they're getting they don't like. And they're going to go somewhere else to feed. And that's what we need to do in an etheric level we need to understand that they're there i mean that's half the battle <laughs> that's half the battle these little rascals are coming in and they are hungry and you can either you know allow yourself to be the food or if you have some other tools you can change your frequency you can change the way things are going and yes it does take effort it takes some time, but oh my gosh, it is so worth it. But if that helps giving you that visual, that 3D visual about parasites and a host, that's what we're dealing with in another level. So we just want to bring up some lighthearted ways to bring in understanding and, and, and knowing what we're dealing with and how to counter that because, it, again, you know, I, I say it probably way too often. We're not taught this in school. We are not taught in school about 
how important it is to actually love yourself and how important it is to you know appreciate others belief systems and what they're going through in fact we're taught just the opposite we're taught to always worry about someone else and then respect another belief system but we we have to open that um, door a little bit wider for a bigger understanding on how to cope with the natural world that we're in when there's unnatural influences that are kind of seeping in Absolutely. So on a personal level, taking care of ourselves, uh, the effect of Tai Chi and exercise, for instance, on blood pressure, systematic review. There's been so many studies done. There was a Harvard study, which is really famous. It, it shows totally conclusively that Tai Chi and, and Tai Chi is a martial form of Qigong. Uh, Qigong is something that I have practice going back to a classroom setting and, and then studying uh, with various uh, different people, studying on my own, studying from the guides uh, for 30 plus years. It is transformative and there's, it, there's no understating how transformative it is. More than just lowering your blood pressure, it's again developing your consciousness and and we take this with us so in in Taoism again there's these legends of these immortal beings what's their practice it, it's qigong it's energy work it's cultivating the life force it's cultivating uh the chi the ki the prana the vril the ruach it, it's it's what is all around us it's the part that science ignores when it gives us, you know, how the world works, how the universe works, they totally don't ever say anything about it because it's the biggest part of everything. And the thing that you can take with you, no, you, you can't take your TV, your car, you can't take all, any belongings. You can take what you cultivate in Qigong. And that will benefit you on the other side in 4D. It'll benefit you if you ascend unto 5D. This is uh, spiritual work. And one of the first things it does is it, it, it makes you healthier. It also makes you healthier emotionally. Now, yoga is, is also, I mean, these are all forms of mind-body breath work. Yoga, qigong, tai chi, and some forms of meditation. You know, still meditation with, without any movement uh, can still absolutely be of benefit. And usually I would recommend, uh, if you're able to move, to incorporate all of them in your regular practice. And non-pharmacological uh, pharmacological management of hypertension. Yeah, there's no negative side effects. And, you know, really, in this world, it doesn't have to cost you anything. There's plenty of YouTube videos. There's, there's plenty of PDFs of great books that are out there. Uh, you know, there's so many people, Dr. Yang Xi Ming, uh, Mantak Chia, Damo Mitchell, um, Mark Cohen. I, I could go on and on with all these great people that you could find PDFs and you don't really have to take any classes. And you got our videos out there, too. Mm -hmm. and, and there is a lot of help out there. And I, I just want to throw my two cents intuitively when it comes to you know, these Apple watches or these phone apps that have things called breathe or things to help you meditate. I, I, I don't know and I don't think that that has the same value as it does when you put yourself in a disciplined state and say, I'm going to do this and this is how I'm going to do this. It's like you're taking control over everything that is making you better. But if you rely on a piece of equipment, to me, that's just, you know, you're still handing your power over to something else. And technology has its place. It most certainly does. I, I can't complain about all of it because we're reaching all of you, which is a huge blessing. And if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be here. So, um, you know, but, but allowing yourself to take control of that. So I don't like the apps and whatnot that they have. At the same time, I'm not going to say don't use them because I think something is better than nothing. And 
the other side of this coin is that when we do it together, when we are consciously raising our frequency, we see things like this. Mass meditation may lower crime rate. Multiple studies done have shown this to be the truth. And it doesn't take a lot of people. So what they're doing out there, when we say there, we were talking about the, the, the control group, they're doing the exact opposite. They're creating chaos. They're creating fear. Now, I find way too many people will call things loose and then dismiss the whole thing. And yet, then maybe they're not paying attention uh, for themselves or for family members when real big events happen. You know, because again, we are on a road to global conflict. We are facing all sorts of challenges. There's been a lockdown. There's been all sorts of disasters. You know, so calling attention to it is is not creating loosh. Again, when we have to change the paradigm, we we need to change the minds of the masses. And we need to awaken the masses. So, you know, we can definitely lower crime rates at a time when, you know, the, it's going to be crazy out there. It really, really is. The more people that start adapting these type of ways regularly, the more we will shift the paradigm. As you see, Norway's prisons of the future yeah, teaching things like Tai Chi and Qigong in prison can really change somebody's consciousness. And the mantras, I cannot stress enough how powerful they are. Mantras can be incredibly powerful. And the ones that um, I feel are the highest frequency that we can have are the ones that are going to be some of the oldest going back to um, previous yugas. And they could be as simply as just saying Om, which is the sound of the universe itself. Shanti, which is peace. Om, Shanti, 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 Om. And just vibrate it. Feel it resonate throughout your body. Close your eyes and just envision you radiating peace out from the heart center. All, all around you, around your your house, your neighborhood, your your town or city, your state, your country, and around the whole world. Absolutely, we need to be that which we we want to see again. It's it's a matter of putting our focus. One thing that all these practices does is increase our ability to focus. And again, you know, one of the things I've harped on is it's a TikTok world. It's a YouTube short world. Why is that? Because they don't want us having much of an attention span. They don't want us being able to focus for long periods of time. One of the most powerful practices is standing and what we call Zhang Zhuang in, in Qigong. And, you know, yeah, it looks, it, a lot of people will say, oh, that's boring. I, you just stand there. Well, you stand there and you focus on your breath and you intentionally draw the life force into your body and you gather it. Yeah, if you want to really cultivate anything of high spiritual nature, it takes time, it takes solid practice. And again, they want us running on the wheel like a mouse or a rat or a rabbit or whatever, guinea pigs, <laughs> you know, thinking we don't have the time for that. Well, that's exactly why this matrix is created that way. So you don't have the time for yourself. I think a lot of things that might be going on right now is people maybe having misunderstandings about one another and, and you know, saying things, but they're being taken wrong or just complete and total uh, communication breakdown. And then somebody might turn and get angry about that because they think it's you know, a violation toward them. I think all of those things where we're getting angry at external circumstances, we need to stop those and check those and see, well, what is broken inside of myself? Why am I taking this information a certain way? And what do I need to adjust in, in my heart, in my world, so that I'm more congruent with those things that I don't have control over? I think one of the things that we do in life 
is when we we come out of the womb we tend to want to adjust the outside world to our liking and we do the best we can for so long but there comes a point where the outside world isn't always going to do what you like so at that point there might be a struggle but then you have to start adjusting your inside world and making it so you can feel the peace and so that things that are coming at you that you know that you don't expect or you don't understand you know making sure that you're taking that information in a way that's not going to make you sick or make you unhealthy or make you lash out um i think that's where we need to go you know look at each other and and be kind if you're not sure exactly what's going on you know be kind about it when in doubt be kind that's one of the sayings that i have you just never know what somebody may be going through you never know you know what paperwork might have gotten mixed up you just don't know so it's it's better to sit back and just kind of take things as they come but make sure you're not taking offense to a lot of things because that's one of the traps that they want to set us in they love it when we go against each other and when we say well my belief is better than your belief and you know it's it just at that point it starts getting silly because are we not a big uh we're a huge huge bowl of information that is supposed to be together yet individual and having our individual experience here in the 3d world and and that's ours again that's another thing that we get to keep and there's just so many things we can do to help ourselves get along in this world in a world where things have been set up to yeah trip you up in, in a lot of ways but we don't have to fall for it no absolutely and wherever you resonate is fine. Now, Avalokiteshvara is basically uh, a bodhisattva or uh, one of these beings that doesn't have to be here and yet is accessible to us. And so, and also a depiction of that is of Kuan Yin or Guan Yin. This is another mantra that you could do if you want to cultivate compassion. It's all about compassion. And compassion is something that is going to be sorely needed in this in this world at this time. Sorely needed. You know, because they're they're trying to strip the compassion away from the world. So this particular link, I'll put it down there for you guys, gives you different chants of Namo Guanxi Yin Pusa. And another one that you might be very familiar with. I mean, there's so many mantras you can pick. Whatever resonates with you. Uh, And, you know, I have four that I do every single day. And Cindy has like three that she focuses on every single day. But, you know, lately I've been calling in more. And and this is one I've been doing because I, I don't want to get caught up uh, in the anger and it's very easy because like when I'm doing the videos that mostly have been going up on evolutionary uh, I find I'm getting really irritated I'm getting really mad because I know what they're doing and what they're doing is just as evil as evil can be and yet we don't want to turn into that evil so you know again this is what happens is is again uh if you have something done wrong to you and then, you know, people will look for revenge to do something wrong back. And again, obviously, two wrongs don't make a right. And some will say, well, how can you affect any real change? You know, if you don't, you know, uh, behave in an aggressive way. Again, we're not supposed to walk into the fire. We rise above and over the fire, rise over the storm rise above all the negativity that is surrounding us every day. Uh, Loka samasta suki no bhavantu. Again, you know, we've done that mantra. That's a beautiful mantra. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. May the thoughts, words, and actions of my own life contribute in some way to that happiness and to that freedom for all. Oh, you know, I can't think of anything that could be more needed in these times. 
Because again, what wh- what's happening? It, it's it's all about pitting us all against each other, and if we focus on freedom for all beings, we we ourselves may not even realize the cage that we've entered when we entered this body, and yet we can rise above that. We most definitely can. I've numerous times talked about the people that were in uh, different concentration camps in, in World War II. And some of them dedicated their entire lives and their focus not to woe is me, but to how can I lift these people's spirits. And that that's truly rising above. That's embodying uh, Guan Xi and Pu Sa. It, it, this is exactly what we're talking about. This one too, um, which we put up five months ago, on Heart's Home, only 235 views. Uh, now, Cindy said, no, it's, there's a lot more than that because they don't want, in this one, they, they can't stand because the lyrics or the words are right here. We call on the one true creator of all the angelic realms and peaceful, loving, benevolent beings that serve the one source of all to remove from power the forces of darkness, control, greed, and destruction that have been and are harming the earth, the life that dwells upon it. We do not consent to their rule, and we do not recognize their authority. We no longer accept their making decisions for us. May they be removed from power. May the love, compassion, and unity be restored to the earth. And may the door be sealed where evil dwells. Oh, again, that's directly stating this power structure on the planet has no authority over me. I do not recognize any authority of this power structure. Uh, We will accept any help in removing this power structure from the planet you keep it that simple if you want um very powerful very direct and just stating it putting it out into frequency putting it out into words is so powerful it is and if something is you know making you angry if things are not going the way you need them to go please remember that you have the ability to stop and not let that darkness continue to penetrate you we can turn from it we can we can also take that energy and do something useful with it you can exercise with this energy that if you feel anger or enraged you can you can do things to actually take care of yourself so there's ways to channel this energy that can be so extremely beneficial and can really change make a lot of change but we have to recognize it first and then we have to decide I don't want to do this and as soon as we decide that and we mean it then we start looking for ways to to change this energy that's incoming and how can we utilize that for something positive there's ways out there we, we don't have to tolerate this we don't have to take this in we can really utilize it to you know, create our own silver lining, make the world a better place in some way, shape or form. If you're just plain flat stuck and you don't know what to do, do the next right thing. Take a look around at your environment, see what needs to be done. It can be as simple as straightening shoes in front of the door. My grandma always told me when you don't know what to do, do the dishes. So that's another thing. So my dishes tend to get done a lot because yeah, I mean, I get stuck. I get stuck often and often I'm looking for these ways to get past these things and we all go through it. We all do. And I can't tell you how many people that we've interacted with and worked on over the years energetically with spiritual coaching, going over their charts and all, that have gone down the road of literally going through hell on earth, that have been mired in all the darkness, which that doorway that leads to darkness is often a very legal one, and, and again, you can go to your D period, R period and say, look, I'm having problems coping. They give you something and, and really that, that something leads to darkness. It, it ultimately does. And, and people are waking up to that fact now in droves and overcoming it. And again, if we are at, in these times opening up that doorway at all, 
the darkness will jump right in. And, you know, that's why, you know, again, we stay clear, really clear. And I've shared with you guys, you know, one of my greatest joys in life was a happy hour at maybe a Spanish bistro or a French bistro, something like that. Some, or sports bar. yeah, or it's, or even a sports bar, you know, tapas, some yummy food and, and a good glass of wine. And, you know, it, when it went up to another level, it's like, well, you know, I, I won't even let down my guard for one single glass of wine now because things have gotten that dark out there. And, and these beings are looking for any opportunity to jump in. So, yeah, I, we, we don't take any mind-altering substances at all, whether it's legal, illegal. We don't go that route because, again, through meditation we can go way past anything that they can do in a positive light and you know with no negative side effects it it truly is amazing what could be achieved and so it's now when people talk about 420 and stuff it you know whatever they do again i do think there are some things that are you know, legal that are much darker than some things that have been illegal. But at the same time, the way our consciousness is evolving, we don't need anything but what we have, which is us. That's all you, you are all you need. You just need to become a whole version of you. And, and that happens through the inner work. And that takes a little time. But it's, well time well spent you know instead of being on something like tiktok or going through reels and getting all of this you know 0.5 second bits of wisdom sitting with yourself you know even staring at a candle a, a candle that's that's one of the things that i do to help my brain from ptsd there's trauma and i will i'll sit and look at a candle and just it allows you to find the peace within um, we got to find more of these ways that come from the heart and the soul that are organic and pull those disciplines in. But the first decision you have to make is, you know, are you done feeling this way? Do you want to do something different? So cultivate the peace, cultivate the inner peace. Let that line show and emanate outward. Let that light just grow. Do not be I'll do no matter what happens don't give in to the the darker energies or that temptation to just drown it all away wash it all away because again what happens there is we just end up washing ourselves away and and in these times we we must be very very diligent you know i was intending to do a title that uh was very biblical um but again i didn't want to cultivate any more darkness uh, as we understand the times that we're in absolutely you know this is the culmination of a great spiritual battle and you know the road is ahead of us and the road is splitting it's really truly time to m make sure we're on the side that leads to the light and not the darkness because the darkness can swallow you up very very fast and that could last for a while, even when we do leave the body. Indeed. As always, guys, we want to thank you for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. Couldn't do it without you guys. Much love. God bless and namaste. Namaste.